All right, it's day two. All right, so we're looking for a signal. We're trying to find Brittany. And we found the Garden of Hope. <laughs> I've tracked down Brittany's signal. Right now, finding her is my highest priority. However, I'm also very concerned that our cosmic drive key is now missing. If I don't find that, the Drake won't be able to fly fast enough to get us back to Kopai. That would be very, very bad. Okay, so we're going to land here in the Garden of Hope. Uh, we think Brittany is there. The signal we received from Brittany is coming in that way direction. Let's go. All right. They're going to give us that little briefing um, before each day. So that's how we that's how we put together where we are, where, where we are as far as progress goes. Where's Brittany? And the onion came with us, too. That's good. Brittany should be here. It should be around here. Something is flashing on my map. Maybe it's her. I'm running out of sustenance. So I hope I can find her before it's too late. All right, so let's take a look at the map. That is the flash that we are receiving. So that is the direction in which we will go. Um, It looks like... We might have to cross water. Okay, if I want to draw out the Pikmin. Oh. It looks like the onion has followed me here. So where are the Pikmin? If I stand below, I can call the Pikmin out. Again, I cannot have more than 100 Pikmin on the field at any time. Oh, that's right. The data file I found explained all this. The onion is the Pikmin's nest. Yeah, so we can call them out through there. I'm going to install an application on the carpet that lets me check the Pikmin status remotely. We're installing. We're installing. And done. Pikmin info. I actually didn't remember that was there. Let me check it out real quick. Just so we can never look at it again. Oh, it's literally what's going on on the battlefield. <laughs> I probably won't ever use this because, like, my sense of what is happening just by looking at this map is pretty good. Again, that's something we didn't have in past games. So, like, we had to learn how to do that ourselves. Go to work, please. I'm going to have them all work. Uh, this is a bridge that we can't cross. We're going to have to build there. Here's a familiar face. Oh, and I picked up a thing. Uh, I'm going to guess. I'm pausing it just very quickly. I'm guessing that it's not going to tell me the stuff that I've already seen in other playthroughs. Because I don't need to see it again. <laughs> and it's all fairly obvious stuff to um, players of this game who, who aren't new, you know? It's stuff like you can attack this. You could also attack this. You could also attack this. You know, I don't need to see that over and over. I understand as a fighter. What I do need to pay attention to, though, is that there's only one Pikmin there. Oh, there's another one right here. So they're putting together that bridge there. A lot of this game is time management. What makes this game so hard is time management. You got to be able to pay attention to what you're doing and when you're doing it. So let's see. There's a glass here. We charged at it, but... They ain't doing too much. So we're going to stop. We're going to stop making fools of ourselves, okay? That's not what we're going to do. I can take this butterfly. I don't even have to sneak up on it. Oh, yeah, maybe I do. <laughs> maybe I do. I don't know everything just yet, okay? I just experimented for a little bit. All right, so there's our 30 Pikmin. Oh, no, we're missing one somewhere. Uh-oh. I just said I knew what I was doing. Get over here. What are you doing? What is this? Okay, we're not going to look at that either. Get over here. I need you boys to fight or to charge. Take down that wall. This is what it looks like from the other side. Oh, wow. It is crumbling. The way it used to do, it would drop down into the ground. 
I guess that doesn't make sense, you know? This is actually more realistic. All right, party boys, let's go. What is this? There's another note that we're not gonna read. There's more bridge pieces. Um, before we get those bridge pieces in that, that pellet, the food for the Pikmin, I'm gonna attack this. This is nectar. A flower bloomed on that Pikmin's head. It's amazing how many plant-like qualities they possess. I wonder if they develop any new skills with that flower. I'll have to keep a closer eye on them. Okay, so in short, when Pikmin grow, and then when they mature, or when they're left in the ground for too long, or when they um when they get when they eat nectar, what happens is they mature. They go from leaves to buds to petals. And the more mature they are, um, the more effective they are. They're, they're faster, they carry things faster, they run around faster, they are better fighters, you know? It's actually beneficial to have them be flowers. There's no reason for them to not be flowers if you can have them be flowers. We finished the bridge! Oh, there's a sleeping thing. So we can fight this thing. And the best way to fight it is to not let him eat us. He is big. He will eat our little asses. So what we can do is throw the Pikmin at him from behind. Try and keep them from his feet, but you know, I don't care. They're going to die. They're going to die. <laughs> and they took him out. Trust me, we are not playing this in the, in the save all the Pikmin way. We are, we are getting this effectively done. Oh, something I didn't realize. We're, we actually started the day system. If you look at the top of the screen, there is a sun that is moving across a dial. It started all the way at that dot at the far left, and it's gonna go all the way to the dot that's, you know, almost to the, all the way to the right. That is how long we have for each day. At the end of the day, the sun will set, and it will become dark. Uh, we need to get off this planet. We, oh, I wish I don't need to say we need to. We will be forced off this planet at the end of the day because it's not safe for me to stay on the planet at the end of the day. Any Pikmin that is with me will be sent to the onion. And any Pikmin that are in the ground, like still growing, I haven't plucked them yet, they will be safe there for the night. But any Pikmin that is left in the wild, just out and doing whatever. Oh. I'll, I'll finish that sentence in a, in a second. Oh, no! Brittany's just lying there. I hope I'm not too late. Pick up, Brittany. Pick up. Please still be alive. Alf? Sorry about that. I was just taking a little nap. So, you're close by? Why wasn't I moving, you ask? Hehe. <laughs> Well, you know me, I'm a pretty sound sleeper, even with all these creatures creeping around. But never mind that. Listen, I discovered what looks like a piece of fruit. It's over there. But I'm kind of stuck here for the time being. Could you go and check it out for me? Sure can. Um, any Pikmin that is in the wild, just, just idle, not doing anything. Oh, look at that. Wow, it's even bigger than I thought it would be. If this giant thing really is fruit, then we've hit the jackpot. I'd like to analyze it at the Drake, but how do I get it there? Oh, that's easy. We use our wonderful Pikmin. Um, any Pikmin that is just idle, not, not under my command, not truly doing anything. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you. <laughs> any Pikmin that is not truly doing anything will be left to get eaten. They will get eaten up. Uh, we're going to leave those Pikmin there at the at the Drake. They'll be okay for a while. We still got time. Um, so we got about eight minutes. Eight real world minutes. That's how long it takes that dial to move, or the sun to move from the left of the dial to the right. What is happening? What is that thing? Whoa! Whoa. That can't be good. Analyzing. Oh, he's done over at the, the SS Drake. Oh, the Drake is sending us a message. 
Analyzing recovery. This is the sunseed berry. Hmm. Large quantities of pictum in you. <laughs> pictum in you detected. So it's a play on the word vitamin. And this originally came out for the Wii U. Pictum in you. This is a seed bearing fruit, making cultivation on Kopai possible. Juice from this fruit is safe for consumption by crew members. I'll add a fruit file to the copad where we can store the results of our analysis. Installing, installing, and done. But since I don't know much about plants, I'll ask Brittany to write the reports. She is the botanist after all. All right, so this thing, this can't be good. Let's defeat the flying thing. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Come on, come on. Let's work. I'm stuck again. Come on, come on, get out of there. Let's get from under this thing. How about that? That's a good battle strategy. Don't stand under the thing. There we go. Whoa. These are rock Pikmin. Are these creatures Pikmin too? They're giving me a funny look. Do they want to break it? They seem to be Pikmin as well. Maybe I can gather them by blowing the whistle with B. Here. Okay. So Rock Pikmin can break these glass structures. That should do the trick. And look at that. We've got another onion. A rock onion, I guess. So, their onion was trapped inside that crystal. Since I have two types of Pikmin now, I can select the ones I want to use with L and R. Alright. Dope. And when I want to split them up by type, I'll use Y to dismiss the squad. <laughs> dismiss the squad. Oh, snap! Oh! Oh! <laughs> I thought they were going to send another one at me be like, here's a test. All right, so these six are going to carry that to their onion. And of course, it's treated as food. So it's going to make more rock Pikmin, which is what we need. We only have six rock Pikmin. We probably should cultivate as many as we can here. You want a wide arrangement of Pikmin because you need different amounts for different types of tasks. Like, what the hell is this? The reds aren't doing anything. What the hell are you guys doing? Um, I got to get used to the buttons. There we go. The rocks, though? They working. They working, shouty. Hear that, please. Um, also, as you just noticed, if you press charge, whichever color Pikmin you have selected currently, as like the one you're about to throw, if you look at the bottom right, it has the red ones. So I'm about to throw a red one. And now I'm about to throw a rock. Whichever color you have selected, is the one that you are going to charge with. So I, if you notice, I only sent my rock Pikmin in. That bell going off means half the day is done. Half the day is done. Oh, well, every every time it goes off, it means a quarter of the day is done. It's gone off twice already. Good work, guys. Proud of you. Oh, this is one that I haven't seen so far. New sprouts will be the same color as the Pikmin that retrieved it to the, to the onion. Yep. So if you want to manipulate, if you want to manipulate what color, uh, what, what onion it goes to, you need to control how many, uh, how many of that color carry it. So like, this is only one. So that one is going to take it obviously back to its own, its own onion, which is going to produce double. It's going to produce twice as much as the number on it. All right, I think that's all we can do in here. We need to go. We need to go. We spent half our day talking. We're still in demo mode. 
<laughs> Let's GTFO. So now we can use these rock Pikmin, these wonderful rock Pikmin, to break down that wall. And they, they get up and get right back at it. Proud of you guys. You guys work hard. The rocks and the reds. Y'all work hard. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, bust that bad boy open. Uh, let's bust that bad boy open. There we go. <laughs> and let's get us some more some more flower Pikmin. And as you can tell, one one round of, of nutrients, one round of nectar is not going to do it for everybody. On the cold pad, on the cold pads radar, align this symbol with your destination and select go here to start moving. So basically, I can have this thing move me itself if I don't want to. Or if I get lost, I get confused on the road or the quickest path there. I can use the cold pad to, to find the quickest way there. There's even a data file about this. Now that I think about it, there was indeed a go here function built into the radar. We should try it out soon. It seems like it'd be helpful if we decide to split into multiple squads. We don't need that right now. We don't need that right now. Let's 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 propagate. That's the word to use. Let's propagate our Pikmin. If you pay close attention, you can see that some of these some of these pellets, some of the food for the onion, change color. If you if you're if you're clever, you can manipulate it so that you use the color that you want. I'm more worried about not having enough rocks to be able to do something right now. This guy has a rock growing on his head. So we're going to stop him from existing. <laughs> he is not like us. We're going to stop him. Let's stop this one, too. There we go. And now you guys can all work hard to make sure we get some pellets back. We grow some more Pikmin. What are you doing? Why are you standing there? What are you doing? Carry that back, please. Uh, let's see. We also have more bridge parts. Now, I'm not entirely sure if the Pikmin, if the rock Pikmin are stronger when it comes to, like, carrying something than the rest of them. I haven't been able to see that for myself. Go ahead and help them out. Help them out. It'll be all right. Uh, we're going to find out, though, if you guys would be so kind. As to work together to carry these bridge pieces all the way over here. It's fine that you guys didn't get any parts. It's okay. I still love you. I still love you. See, they're going to run back there and there's nothing there. And then they're going to run to me. So we only have a fourth of the day left. That means there's two minutes and we didn't complete this bridge. This bridge didn't get complete. Come here, please. This is electricity. I will die if I, <laughs> if I make contact. I won't die, but I will get hurt. And we don't want that. Let's find out what's over this way before we go. Oh, look at that. More bridge parts. And there's a there's a, there's a a whole berry. One, two, three. I want you guys to handle that while you guys handle this. Oh, we need rocks. We need them rocky boys. Would y'all be so kind? There we go. Thank you. I appreciate you all. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're going to complete this bridge, and I think that's really all we can... Six. Who's missing? I think that's all we can do today. I think if for, for, for our sake, we better get back to the uh, get back to the ship. Oh. The sun will be setting soon. Any stray Pikmin will undoubtedly face attacks from nocturnal predators. Woo! But the Pikmin that are close to the onions should be able to make it back on their own. So within this circle, any Pikmin that is within this circle will be fine. We don't have to worry about getting them home. So that also goes for the Pikmin that are planted, the Pikmin that finish a task and they're waiting at the onion. I better call back the Pikmin who aren't in my squad before it's too late. But it could be tiring to walk around everywhere to collect all the Pikmin. So I'll make sure that when you press A near the SS Drake, a whistle will be sound that can call that will call all Pikmin back to the onion. So that that's that's also something new. That's also something new that uh that they put into this game. Oh wow, they're starting to count down now. Okay, so we won't be able to cross this bridge. I need to find it on this map so I know where like we. Oh wait, there there, it was a shortcut. So we took the long way. And this is just a shortcut to get back home. 
That's actually really good. These Pikmin probably aren't going to make it. They're probably not going to make it because I think what happened is they just they just saw that I finished a shortcut. So, like, they're just about halfway. And they might just turn all the way around and go this way. <laughs> I hope they make it. I'm going to go. I'm going to find. I'm going to try and get to them before they turn around or something. They have two minutes. They should be okay. They should be able to make that. There's three Pikmin just out in the wild. I hope it's not these. Or I hope it is these. Nope. There's three other ones. I know there's four working on that task I gave them. Okay. No, they're not. They're not turning around. Good. I'll run into them if I go this way. There's three just out. Just out. I have no idea where they are. It's not these three. Oh, it is these three. Okay. And I'm going to assume that the rest of the Pikmin... Hey, hey, help them out. Help them, okay? Get this done with. I'm going to assume that the rest are over at the, the other onion, the rock onion. Uh, what I'll do is I'll get near the ship. Ooh, wait. Let's wait for these to finish the task. So right here, right by the ship, if I press A, I'll be able to call the rest of them to me. Because it says there's 30 in the field. I'm praying that those are the rock ones. Oh, I see. I see some here. I'm hoping that it's the rock ones because we, we only have eight on us. We worked hard for those Pikmin. Let's see. I know we can look through the map and find the... I just got to figure out where we went. Was it this way? Where's the other? Okay, there's none in danger. At the top, it says there's none in danger. So we're okay. Yeah, they're just hanging out. Ooh, it's not going to let me go all that way. There we go. Yeah, they're just hanging out by this onion, so they're fine. Okay. We can go ahead and end the day. If we're, if we're sure that there's nothing else we can really accomplish today, we go ahead and end the day. You do that just by pausing and going down the end day. It's not a bad day, too, to be honest. Let's get off this planet. There's the predators. They didn't get dinner today. Oh, wow. Very interesting. The two of them merged into one. I'll have to make a note of this fascinating behavior. Different colored onions can fuse together into a single onion. That's a new change. Um, in previous games, they were... Weren't they... I think in two, there were only two onions. There were the standard Pikmin colors and then the new ones for that game. But now they're all in one onion. Dope. Let's analyze the other fruit, too. Sunsea Berry. It's the exact same thing as the uh, one before. It's got a little... It's got a little mold on it at the top, but you know it's okay. Alright. Look at all this food just for me. Though I am sorry that Brittany and Captain Charlie aren't here to share this with me. We have enough food to keep us fed for a little while. Alright. Day two was day two was really successful. We went out, we got some other Pikmin. We got some food. Two Pikmin died. Listen, that number is impossible to keep at zero, but keeping it low, very possible. Analyzing the recovered fruit back at the Drake. It's oh, I'm sorry at the Drake. It was seemed suitable It was deemed suitable for copai consumption There's got to be more where that came from also. It looks like these hard-bodied rock pigmen are sticking around which is good news 
With their help, I'm sure I'll be able to re reach Britney soon.